so my good friend Randy Almanzor. Randy, how are you doing? I'm doing well. Awesome. So uh, Randy Almanzor moved up to Philadelphia, saw a lot of cool things going on, did a couple cool things before he left, and then came back to Johnson City and said, you know what? There were all these awesome, exciting things going on in Philadelphia, and I want to see them happen here in Johnson City. Um, so tell us about how you got started with Southern Side. Sure. So moving back from Philly, there was always something to do, um, whether it was in the city or in the uh, suburbs. So I came back to Johnson City and just really wanted to see stuff happen. I uh, believed in, John in downtown Johnson City specifically. Um, and like Brent said, I'm actually living in London's loft. So, you know, just investing that time and wanted to see cooler things happen. Um, Southern Side, we call ourselves at a promotions and experience company. Um, we believe that anybody can do an event, but not anybody can create an experience. Um, and that's what we want to do. We want to create an experience that lasts, um, that five, ten years from now, you remember that experience, you've got your Instagram photos from it, you know, whatever it might be. And so that's what we want to create. And we want to create those unique experiences um, that have never been done in Johnson City before um, and are just kind of out of the box and uh, really show off the local culture and our local businesses. So you'll see us always partnering with our local businesses um, to make our experiences happen. Awesome. So you have a day job, uh, and I know a lot of us here have multiple jobs and multiple businesses. We're running startups on the side, doing other things, etc. cetera. Um, what are some of the challenges in having a, hey, I have to get up and go here and do this work, but man, I'd really like to be doing this other thing right now. Uh, what are the challenges with, with doing the two business shuffle? Yeah, so the, I think the biggest challenge is um, organizing your time. So you you get up and you have to you have to get done what pays the bills or your bills don't get paid <laughs> um, but then you also have to make sure that stuff's getting done for an experience that's coming up in two weeks or whatever it might be so delegating that or figuring out when you're gonna fit that in now luckily I'm blessed with a job that you know I can drive 200 miles in one day so I'm in the car a lot and so I get to make a lot of phone calls and stuff like that no texting, by the way. Um, yeah, don't text and drive. We will uh, find you. So I just make all my phone calls uh, while I'm in the car or, you know, luckily I'm surrounded by several guys, Daniel Trigg being one of them, um, business partner that I can, you know, call and help me get stuff done or whatever it might be uh, to make sure that those things are getting done for the next time. Um, so, but yeah, I think the biggest thing is scheduling. Uh, making sure that you're figuring out that time. Daniel and I often have meetings at 8, 9 o'clock at night um, because obviously we both have day jobs. And so, you know, I always say that, you know, I do my day job and then Southern Side's my nights and weekends job. Um, so, but I enjoy it. Uh, I, got, I think I've told a couple people that my day job pays my bills, but Southern Side pays my thrills. Um, so, because that's what, you know, really gets me going uh, is, is Southern Side. So, that's awesome. Um, so one piece of advice that you would give to somebody starting something up, um, what is it that, uh, that you think you've learned um, in starting this up? I think the biggest thing, and one of my friends actually said it back here and it resonated in my mind when he said it, but was stick with it. Um, I, Daniel and I can both remember an event that we put on and three people showed up. Um, and it wasn't so much an experience, it was an event because it was very forgettable. Um, and so, you know, I think those people that came, you know, they obviously remember it because they were one of three people, live, <laughs> live band playing and, you know, really good food at um, Old South. And, but it was just, you know, it was a very intimate event. Um, but uh, so I think sticking with it and knowing that um, at some point it's all going to click. And as long as, as that's your passion um, and you keep pouring uh, that passion into it, um, at some point it's going to click. And that passion is, is going to bleed over into everybody that you're telling about. Um, and, and that's been great, too, is, as we've talked to other people and we speak about what Southern Side's about, um, especially our local businesses. Like That's what we're most passionate about, is seeing our local businesses succeed and helping them do that um, with our experiences and so watch your passion 
bleed into other people um, and stick with it because that's what's going to eventually take off and people are going to see that passion and then they're going to come alongside you and your next experience or whatever it might be won't have three people it should hopefully have 300 3,000 whatever it might be so that's awesome thank you so much nice round of applause for Randy Almanzor <laughs> Southern Side